to talk to you about how to read a ruler. I know that most of you can read a ruler in the English system of measurement, but in each class there's a few people who have trouble. So this lesson is for those people. If you are having any trouble reading halves, quarters, eighths, sixteenths of an inch, then you need to listen carefully and you need to do the worksheet that I'm going to be giving you. Actually, everyone's going to do the worksheet, but for the people who already can read a ruler, it's going to be very easy. But this little lesson is for you if you're having trouble reading a ruler. So, let's have a quick look to begin with. <coughs> Our ruler, at least this one, is a little bit confusing. I have to make a general comment about it. Do you see that inch between three and four? It's divided into 64 little pieces. Well, we don't use 64 of an inch in woodworking or in our drafting projects. So don't be confused by that ruler, that inch. You can use other parts of the ruler up here. Also, the first three inches are each divided into 32 little parts. And we don't use 30 seconds of an inch in our drawings either. So the ruler, which you probably have, is divided into sixteenths of an inch. By the way, those numbers up there are the metric system. We're not using them at all. We're not using the metric system. So, to help you understand the divisions of an inch, I'm going to talk about how, how the inch is divided. Then I'm going to give you, then I'm going to give you a piece of paper that summarizes the things that I've said, and then I'm going to give you a worksheet. So, let's just pretend here that these are inches. Actually, this ruler is double scale. Each of these is actually two inches long, but I drew it big because I know I want to write some numbers on it. So this is the end of the ruler. That's zero inches, right? That's the end of the ruler. The first inch is right there. That's one inch. Here is two inches and so on up here. Now, how is the inch divided? It's always divided in halves, and then the halves are divided again to make quarters, then eighths, then sixteenths. So the longest line is the inch mark. The half inch mark, which is right here, I'll draw it about that long. So now there are two pieces in the inch, so this mark is one half of an inch. That's a half inch mark. If you break the halves in half again, then you can see there are four pieces in the inch. So this is one-fourth of an inch. Two of these one-fourths are right here. Two-fourths, well, two-fourths, you know, is the same as a half. There is one, two, three. Here is three-fourths of an inch. And of course, a full inch is four-fourths. I guess I should have written down two halves because a full inch is two halves, right? One, two. It's also four fourths. And now we're going to divide the inch into eight pieces by dividing each of these fours in half. Notice how each of my lines is a little bit shorter than the lines that I drew previously. That's the full inch, that's the half inch, that's the quarter inch marks, or this one is three quarters. And now there are eight of these little pieces in an inch. So this one is one eighth. If you count two of them over, it's the same as a fourth. Two eighths is the same as one fourth. Here is three eighths. Four eighths. Four eighths is the same as a half. Five eighths. Six eighths, same as three quarters. Seven eighths, that's one eighth less than a full inch. So I've shown you what the, the inch looks like right? Halves, quarters, eighths, and I'm not going to write the numbers down, but if you break each of those eighths in half again, you will have a total of 16 little pieces in the inch. So that's the way the, each of the inches is divided. Now, when you go to Google Classroom, You'll be able to print off this, this little piece of paper. It summarizes everything that I just said. There's a little diagram like I just made. And down here are some inches which are marked for you, or some divisions that are marked for you. This mark 
is halfway from zero to one, so that's the half inch mark. <coughs> this is the two inch mark, there's the three inch mark. Halfway through is two and one half inches. Over here, this line, see the arrows pointing that line right there? It goes up to there. There are one, two, three, four pieces in an inch when the, that line is in view. And so this is one fourth of the inch, four and one fourth. This line is one of the lines which breaks the inch into eight little pieces. So this is five and one eighth. This line right here, it goes up to there and you can see that line breaks the inch into one, two, three, four pieces. And this is one, two, three of them. So five, and three-fourths. So that's, that's the way a <coughs> reading a ruler will work. You can get the sheets that I've just been talking about on Google Classroom. I'd like you to fill in this page. Please write your name on it. Okay, and in the next lesson we'll make our first orthographic drawing.